through the scheduled select board meeting to order. Um, the first item is the school board interview with Marianne Ralph. Is she on? Um, Did you want to yes, I'm here. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. So we have your um, letter here. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to start by just giving us the, uh, the cliff notes of your letter and telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so my name is Mary Ann. I moved to Woodstock about three years ago with my husband. And we have two young kids. One is in pre-K and one is in first grade. Um, and my background is I'm a licensed counselor. So I was working in primarily in schools before moving here. Um, I'm also licensed in Vermont. I just haven't pursued that here. Um, we own a local business in Queechee and we built a home in Woodstock and we're very just invested in the community and the schools. And I feel, you know, with my background in counseling and education and my experience, I think that could be very relevant to the school board and just a helpful lens of someone who's, you know, currently kind of familiar with what's happening and how schools work. And I also have two little kids who are going to be in those schools for a long time. So it's something I care a lot about. And I just think I can bring a lot to the table. Excellent. Thank you. And are you familiar with the school board schedule? And does that uh, work for you with your work schedule and home schedule? Yeah. Yep. That works for me. Do you have any questions, Susan or Mary? Um, okay. Yeah. Ray, do you have any questions? Okay. Um, thank you very much. I don't have any other questions. Okay. We will, um, I don't think we put it on the agenda, but we will um, break out into um, discuss this later on executive session and we'll sure. get back to you later. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, are there any citizen comments from? Can't see who's online right now, but if anyone has a comment, just start talking. I'll take that as no. Um, for additions to and deletions from, I have two. One is we'll discuss town. Couldn't go for a Yeah. Um, we'll discuss town meeting organization and we'll have an executive session to discuss the. Um, School board position. We'll do that under other business. Um, so that brings us to manager's report. Eric. Um, so I don't, I don't much today. Uh, a few things. Um, one, uh, we, have, we are in receipt of the draft audit. Um, we're working with the auditor yeah. so far for the finalized uh, audit soon. Um, so that we have a time, but I don't have a response from the current auditor. Um, but all the documents they need to process have been sent to them. So hopefully just there on their end, get the final things done and giving this back to us. Um, at which point we'll all present to the board. Um, the order to come in to discuss the findings with the board at a later date. Um, second, we started interviewing for the planning uh, zoning assistant today. Uh, the interviews go on through the rest of the week. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to have a decision before um, Stephen has to go on attorney leave. Um, that, that's the goal. So yeah. hoping the time that works out for us. Um, and then finally, um, I know on new business, um, the opera funds are being discussed. Um, but if, if you can let me share my screen, um, we have put together a opera survey, um, which is currently on the website uh, for the town. It's going on the list serve tomorrow morning, um, and it's a very quick and easy way for the community to reach out and let us know their goals um, and um, hopes of the opera fund. So I'm going to quickly just show people oh, okay. um, where it is. Um, so on the website, um, you'll see. First page opera survey. Um, so you just click on that. You'll be brought to this link that kind of has a, has a quick description of what the opera money is, um, a link to where the uh, final guidelines from the Treasury um, are, if anyone has questions on what money I should spend on. And then if you click on that link, it'll bring you to a Google Doc, um, which is a few quick questions. Um, 
for deciding when to fill out. One would be the affiliation of Woodstocks, whether they're a village resident, a town resident, um, or business owner, or someone else, or a nonprofit, um, or someone else maybe that works in the town or village. Um, then for the town and the village, there are a few suggestions, um, which we got from mostly from uh, the both the trustees and the select board, um, and then also a option for other. So if someone else, someone wants to see the money being spent on things like other, and then write down what they think the best use of the funds are. And we also have an option down below for anyone who wishes to leave a name or contact information. So if there is a proposal that you want and you're happy to be contacted for more information, you can fill out their information there. Um, the goal is to kind of wow. have this information, sort it, and then present it to the, to the board as a way to kind of streamline some of these conversations. Uh, to make sure everyone has an opportunity to submit um, their idea of the upper funds if they can't come in person or can't reach out. Um, this is a way for them to have an opportunity to kind of write down what they want. Also, if someone is unable to use the form, um, they are allowed, obviously, to tell you to come to the town and call into my office or call my office, and um, the people in the office will walk them through the process, take their information, and upload it for them. Um, so that's what we have there. Um, and I guess, is there a control so that somebody can't like answer the poll 20 times or? Um, no, so if someone has 20 ideas, they really want to submit those 20 ideas. Right. Um, they vote on something 20 times. Right. There is no vote, it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's a vote, but it's a suggestion. Okay. And then the boards get to decide what to do at the end of the day. We're not beholden to any type of suggestion. Um, we can kind of see if someone does submit 20 times to one important project. Um, we didn't want to capture anyone's information, not owning the Google Doc ourselves and then be responsible for holding the data, something we don't want to be responsible for. So that's why it's an imperfect system, but hopefully it's going to give the best use for everyone. And I, I think because we would see the results in chronological order, if 20 were exactly the same, we would kind of have an idea that one person was doing it repeatedly. Um, so hopefully it works. There is a setting in Google yeah. form. So with one per person, right? Yeah, yeah. that's you try to limit to one person. There are, if you're really savvy, there are ways to get around it. Yeah. Okay. I've never used Google Forms before like this, so. Yeah, yeah, the EDC is Google. Yeah. Now that's a good Thank you. Um, so, we have first up is that discussion for ARPA funds. What about, I had some what? questions on the financial report. Okay. I don't know if that's something that I can just, I mean, I, I don't expect you to know the answers, but there were a few things I flagged that Absolutely. I had questions about. Um, number one was the manager search fee, which was at 54,000, which that has to be something else. So I, I believe what happened, I confirm is when um, there was an interim uh, town manager, instead of paying the salary out of the salary line I'm being paid out of, I believe they paid him out of the manager's search salary line instead. So I think that's why that number is so high. And I wanted to make sure that both that fee and also the um, consultant fee was split between the town and the village. I will confirm that, but I believe that is the case. Okay. And then just a picky little thing. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah. The Woodstock Council on Aging, there's two lines. There's 5002908, 5003916, and one is a thousand over budget and one is a thousand under budget. So I, I think it's an entry error. I'll take a look at that. 5002908 and 916. Is 908 the normal Williams? They're both the Woodstock Council on Aging, I think. And it looks like at least yeah so you 41,000 4400 yeah yeah and then the other one is a thousand under okay okay i'll get to that in the email i have a question um why yeah, wasn't the sewer why wasn't the sewer budget um on in here was it not included it was not And it must be an oversight. I'll have the, the budget sent to 
the chairperson tomorrow and they can contribute it if that's okay. I'll send it out. Yeah, it works. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, so, so do, just, do we want to do the ARPA funds now, or do you want to uh, just jump right into that then? I don't know if there's anything for us to discuss at this point. At this point, unless um, people have other ideas before the survey goes live that should yeah. be on it, maybe? I don't know. Maybe um, can table this until April. March is probably busy for the night meeting. Yeah, my recommendation to the board would be to um, promote the survey, let residents and communities um, comment, put the proposals in writing, um, then maybe the board can review it in a March meeting and then invite mm -hmm. the so that you want to have more information on any form before, before making a decision. I like that. So. Yeah, that works. April meeting um, uh, 19th. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get your thoughts ahead of time. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> I'll be gonna, coming home to that. No. Okay. I won't be able to get out. Uh, I'm sure we'll have yeah. more discussions afterwards too. So oh, sure. So we yes. won't be voting that night. Um, so road postings, um, road postings went up. <laughs> Ground's real soft, but you know, in order to enforce it, we need need a motion. Um, I went back through and um, in the past, you know, was usually John Doton had made would make a motion, and then that carries enough weight. We don't need an ordinance every year. Um, so I would entertain a motion to um, enact the uh, annual spring um, post road postings. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Motion by Ray. Second by Mary. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, pretty soft. <laughs> <laughs> I made the state of the money really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I regret it. So that motion carries four to zero with one absent. Um, we have EDC discussion uh, for major grants. Thank you. Um, so uh, we are continuing in this mode of a small number of major Finish our community grant. Mm -hmm. This was approved at the last meeting. Um, we have two major grants at a special at a, our February meeting, and then a special meeting a week later. Uh, one from the housing group, and one from the, one in housing, and one in marketing. The housing proposal, just a brief summary. They proposed nine different initiatives to with a total of two hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars to basically do three things. Uh, give incentives to create new housing units all of these are targeted towards workforce people in the work in the local workforce who can afford at, at rent level that they can afford uh, the second is to give incentives to people who can't afford housing here and who are in the local workforce and the third is third bucket is to fund a staff position a housing advisor for the second full year we funded it for one year past year and it was essential to the operation of all the other of all the mm -hmm. programs we uh are now in the position i think this is good where we don't have enough money to fund all the proposals that we're getting and so we have to make some tough choices and we made some of those tough choices with respect to housing so we approved and in addition we're making pro proposals to fund multi-year programs now so this is the first time i think we're coming to you and asking you to approve something for this year's EDC budget, as well as for the small amounts in the next two years. And we, we and this program, because of the nature of, of the way the incentives work, we have to approve it for all three years because we would give, let's say, Susan an incentive to build an ADU, but we wouldn't give her all the money this year. We'd give her half the money this year and a quarter next year and a quarter in the third year because we require her to rent it for three years and we monitor it and so forth. So. Mm -hmm. What the funding you're going to approve today needs to be approved. And as we make the obligation at the beginning to give her the incentive, we have to give it to her over three years. So we approved the programs to expand housing capacity. And we approved, we, we're recommending that, and we recommended the staff position. 
we did not recommend any of the programs to give payments directly to people who couldn't afford housing. Um, we may, so, so, and the total that we, out of 247, we recommended funding of 106,000 this year, and then funding of 27,500 next year and the third year. So that's a total of 160,000 over three years. So we're funding two thirds of the request, but over three years. Mm -hmm. And that's calculated to coordinate with the timing of when the money was. We're hoping to create up to 20 new units of housing to incent 20 units of housing over three years. Um, and that's based on the, AD, on the ADU program, which is so far, we've, we've given out five, uh, sorry, three grants. We've had two conversions from short, long -term, short term to long term rentals. And we're continuing both of those programs and adding an incentive for the home share program, which is a Thompson Senior Center program where people will give a room in their house at a, at a rent local workforce or something of that sort. So that's the first recommendation is for 161,000 over three years, 106, 27,5, 27, all of which is focused on creating either creating housing capacity or paying for the staff manager to manage all the staff programs. And the second, do you want to talk about that? Or do you have any questions? Should I do the marketing one or do you want to have any questions about housing? Uh, for housing, do you need any motions for us to fund it? Or is it you guys are self able to fund that, right? Oh, yeah, no, no, this is all coming. We have the funds. Well, right. But let me just be clear. We have now, as of prior to this memo, we're now even. We've now spent all of the money that we've been granted. So we, we paid for the child care program mm -hmm. out of our reserves, and we paid for the community grant program out of our reserves. We're starting from scratch. We have money in the bank because not all the grants have been dispersed, but we everything is encumbered. We expect revenue of about $360,000 this year. Um, and so we would be granting here 106 of that 360 okay. by this proposal and in the future years. But no, this requires no funding from the town. This is all. Uh, or I don't mean funding from the town. I mean, um, appro like approval, because sometimes will approve your recommendations, but I think sometimes you are have the authority to just spend. No, we don't. Well, no, we don't have, we don't have, we have no everything. No, you approve all of our everything. Spending. Okay. Yeah. So do you, do you need anything tonight? Well, yes, we would we'll get to that. We're basically making a motion. Yeah, this is like prior grant requests. Yes. Okay. We're asking you to approve two so, grant requests. So basically, and I'm sorry, I'm not there, but Basically, you don't have the funding for this right now. Is that correct? We we have we have essentially zero unencumbered funds. We have four hundred thousand dollars in the bank, which is encumbered. But and we don't expect, and so we expect to be able to write the checks when they're needed to both what we have committed to and this. For example, today. We should have received yesterday, actually last week, we should have received our first quarter uh, check from the first quarter of revenue for the EDC, which is usually about 120 or 125,000. Um, the housing, so, so, so we're not going to have to come to you for cash. Uh, that, that we're managing it so that, I mean, we've never been in this position before, but we're being careful to kind of monitor the likely pace of these things. And so, I don't think we're going to need to borrow from the town, but if we did, it would be for a month or two, and then it would pay back from the right. from the options tax. So I don't think there's any risk to the town at all. No, I'm not. Yeah. Well, I wasn't too concerned about that. But you might not be able to afford the interest rate, John. <laughs> well, that is a side negotiation. <laughs> so, so that so that's the first. So this is this is just two more first, grant proposals. Gotcha. First first one is for 106. Seven. The second one uh, is for marketing, and the marketing that came in asked us for a one-year grant of $158,000 at our February meeting. The EDC did not recommend it at that meeting. We asked the market group to come back to us with a proposal for $100,000, um, and 
they came back and we held a special meeting to discuss that a week later. They came back with a proposal for 120,000. That was the tightest that they said they could do. A long discussion and debate ensued about whether or not Woodstock, it was appropriate to be getting more tourists, to more visitors to Woodstock or not, whether we were giving them a good experience, et cetera, et cetera. And so we've had this debate before, and we, I think it's reached the level, I wouldn't say tension, but you know, there's a civil discussion, but it's contentious. And so we, what we did was to say, listen, we're not prepared to go over 100,000. You, we would like, we'll give you a grant of $37,200. That is 10,000, up to $10,000 a month for three months and $7,200 because next week is the annual bill for the website, which is $7,200 and we don't want the website to go down. So during that time, you'll have three months to come back to us with a proposal for a full year for $100,000, including the 37. So don't spend all the 37 because you're gonna need it for the other nine months. And in parallel with that, we're gonna launch a major effort to engage with the community and with visitors to understand does the community want more tourists? Are they uncomfortable with the level? We're going to hold a meeting. We're going to do a survey. We're going to survey the visitors and ask them what aspects of their visit, you know, they, was there a problem? You know, we have reports that people are, you know, urinating in the bank parking lot and nobody can find a place to eat. And we don't know if this is, you know, a one time or it's an endemic. And so it's time for us to have that debate. And we have about three months to do that. Mm -hmm. So what we're asking for tonight and I'm sure we will come back to you with some fruit. No one was arguing we don't need marketing, but the question was whether we need so much of it and whether we should be allocating some resources to improving the town's capacity to handle the people who come here. So what we're asking you for tonight is $37,200 for marketing uh, to keep us going for three months. And we have committed to this outreach program. And then I'm sure we will come back to you with the second part of the marketing proposal. I just don't know what that would be because it'll depend on the discussion. Um, there's a question online from Roger. Go ahead, Roger. Hi, um, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I just wanted to clarify something. Um, one of the objections raised, um, certainly by me, um, not objections, but, but concerns raised to the marketing proposal is not that it was not necessarily about can Woodstock handle more tourists? I think that's a huge question. But more importantly, from a spending standpoint, I think what we have is a marketing budget that was proposed at approximately somewhere between 30 to 50% of the EDC's annual income. And my concern is that's a huge amount of money to encumber going forward on an annual basis. And again, as Jonathan said, I don't think anybody is arguing that we don't need a marketing program. Woodstock is a tourist town. Woodstock is going to main, con continue to be a tourist town. There's a huge broad question about the impact on, on local citizens. And that's a, but that to me is a somewhat different discussion. What we're talking about is how to spend EDC funds and spending 30 to 50% of EDC funds on an annual basis on a marketing program of this level, I don't think is justifiable. And I don't think there has been sufficient ROI demonstrated for this. Um, so that would be my, beyond the impact of life on people here, the, my major concern is you're encumbering a huge proportion of EDC funds going forward if you continue a marketing program at this level. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for adding that, Roger. Roger made that point yes. equally eloquently at this point. And by the way, the, the, we are, if, if we were to have 100,000, it would uh, just barely address Roger's concern because it would be below 30, right? You know, 100,000 if we had, Revenue of 360 would be 28 percent. I mean, we can still debate that. Should it be 20 or 15? I think we will. We we have promised to have this debate at least twice before. We're going to do it this time. So it'll and Roger, it'll include that question. That's a fair point. Anyway, so the two proposals. So any other questions? 
I'm not hearing any, so let's continue. Okay, so that's so basically we're asking for approval of our recommendation for in effect two grants, one for 106,000 this year, 27,500 for 2024, and 27,500 for 2025 to fund the range of housing proposals for workforce housing. And secondly, to approve our recommendation for funding of 37,200 for marketing for an interim period for three months, basically. And is it during that three month, I'm sorry, that you'll explore whether- We're just about to start yet. We have okay. developing a work plan. Okay. Yeah. So are, are we voting on the, just this year or the whole 161 over three years? Yeah. No, you're voting on the whole 161 because mm -hmm. when we give, for example, an ABU incentive this year, we are committing to that person to deliver them funds over three years. We can't back right. No, I, I just wanted to be yeah. Yes. May I may I add that those are estimates of how the money might go out. There are best estimates. So if you could approve it all now, then we can respond to whatever the requests are and adjust the timing as necessary. Okay. Well, actually, Jill, the the, the um just technically, I think the EDC voted to do it this way. Um, I don't, <clears throat> can, I, can I just suggest that we, I feel uncomfortable changing it, but your request is very reasonable, but I feel uncomfortable changing it right now. So can I just suggest that you approve it as written and that we will, we're letting you know that, that if we have to come back because it's gonna affect the program, it, it wouldn't affect the total spending, it would just affect the timing of it, that we would come back to you with that. And Jill, we, we can, I, I just feel uncomfortable. That seems fun. Thank you. Okay. So I would move we approve the um, two EDC requests, the housing and the marketing. Okay. Is there a second? Second by Mary. I'll second it. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries four to zero with one absent. Thank you. Can I just ask a very quick question? Is this level of detail and presentation and so forth too much, too little, or right? I've never asked you that. Um, should, the the amount you're talking is the right amount. Okay. <laughs> the material. If we were talking about all of the material, it would take so long. Okay, so but I don't mind having it. No, so so it would be easier because there's a four-page, yeah. two-page memo. Is that is that what you'd rather yeah. see? Wow. I mean, the two-page memo is what we ought to. If we yeah. ought to go off of and discuss around the right. memo, and if you have these slides, you yeah, know, don't send them out in the pack. No, it's fine in fact. Oh, okay. yeah, fine. It's good information. Yep. Okay. That, yeah. Okay. If you want to change it. No, no, that's, the, that's fine. The pack up. The back up. It's good. It is? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, but my intention is to go through the memo, basically, which yeah. is what we just did. Okay. Yeah, that's Thank good. you. Thank you. Um, it's great. Uh, so we got uh, Michael Caduto here. He has uh, a discussion item for solar electricity for low and moderate income households. Yes, thank you, Joe. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can be fine, it looks like. Great, um, and Jen Ever is also here. Yep. So we are, go ahead. Oh yeah, just to invite you to start. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so we've been working for some months now on um, the concept of uh, generating some solar credits for uh, low-income families in the town of Woodstock. And we've been talking to, we wanted to get some background information before broaching the subject with the select board so that we have, you would have a clear idea of what, what we're um, proposing. And we're not asking for a decision today. We're just basically asking for, um, to pursue the option of um, putting solar on the rooftops and come up with a proposal for, for doing that if this is a, a concept that interests you. Um, so we've been talking to uh, creating a solar array with either Sunwell, uh, perhaps Norwich Solar. And the town of Woodstock has three roofs that are good locations for solar, the town garage, a portion of the EMS building and the wastewater treatment plant. And at this time, the town of Woodstock as a customer of Green Mountain Power is maxed out on the number of solar credits that it can generate mm -hmm. and use for the town. So we have this 
potential solar power um, space on some of the town buildings that can't be used and isn't at the time at this time being used. So we were thinking that we are really focused on making access to renewable energy available to people from um, from all backgrounds and means in town and uh, those who cannot normally afford to build their own arrays or buy into a community array. This is an opportunity to help push our the town's climate goals forward to help bring uh, some equity to the uh, opportunity of renewable energy um, to folks in town who could take advantage of this um, if we were able to create some solar on um, some of these rooftops. Um, so Ginevra, is there anything I missed or something you might want to uh, extrapolate on? Or? Yeah, thank you, Michael. I just want to add you, I believe there's a handout that Michael got over to you. I don't know if you all had a chance to look at it, but the expected discount to the off takers who'd be receiving the solar would be um, anywhere from 10 to 15% of a discount on electricity. Um, remember, um, if I remember correctly, um, Ray, Ray. So that's all right. Mary was on. Maybe Ray is going to talk about the building. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Ray. The EMS building we were told didn't have enough uh, right. roof space to make it worthwhile, and that's why we didn't put solar on that. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and Ray, I remember that situation, which was that we were working with uh, Norwich Solar at that time, and if you remember, initially we were thinking of putting solar on the entire building, the, the existing part as well as the new part. And it turned out that the new roof, the old roof rather, could not accommodate engineering um, specs for a solar because of the weight. So then this, the new roof, which can accommodate solar, nor solar at that time felt like it was too small. So I think that may be what you're recalling. This particular, yes. the, the folks were, yep. yeah, the folks we're talking to are aware of the sizes of the roofs and have actually looked at the, the specs and are feel that we're looking at something that's quite viable. But yeah, that's true from that from that project. But I, I think there was a similar um, discussion with the wastewater treatment plant and projecting to be able to put solar panels on it with the rebuild, but not currently, but I can't speak to that. Just uh, that's something uh, in the back of my memory that um, I think, I, I think I can that's correct. That though. one, no, I can speak to that one. When we put the new roof on, it was constructed to put solar panels on, so it's ready in a mechanic, you know, infrastructure wise. The new roof at the current wastewater treatment plant. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But um, we the solar that um, we were going to get mm -hmm. in the wastewater plant. Is that kind of going to compromise what um, we will do then? Right. We we would need to make sure that any project done to that plant doesn't interfere with future construction or um, limit our design choices. The solar. The yeah, absolutely. Yes. And if you recall, we worked really closely with um, the EMS staff on that building. We would definitely continue to look at the specs for the wastewater treatment plant redesign and work closely with everyone to make sure that that um, that is the case. That's good. That's great. And do you have any idea of the costs? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that the town would be absorbing the cost of putting the solar up and what that would be. Um, yeah, I can just briefly speak to Michael that. Um, Sunwealth uses an investor model, so it's all investor based. Um, so it's not a cost to the town at all. Um, it's just an investor model where they um, get a group of folks to contribute to creating an array and then um, kind of gain from that array as the years go on. So the only um, money that could potentially be involved would be in the lease itself. The town would be leasing the space for the array to whoever constructed it, whether that be um, any solar, you know, installer really. So it would be a matter of deciding whether the town was willing to lease it for free or with a small fee. Any fee the town got um, would be a financial benefit to the town, but then would take away from the discount to the customers. So that's not a decision we have enough information to really make at this point. 
um, but we there's no anticipated cost on the town's part. Yeah, that's thanks to Deborah. And um, the total amount that it would save households who were uh, participating would be about 10 to 15 percent on their electricity bill, and they would be using solar credits. So it would be a renewable energy source for their household. Okay, and those those participating households they would um, they would still be paying in, but at a reduced rate. Exactly. Okay. There's a question online from Zoe. Yeah, go ahead, Zoe. There. Um, so I just wanted to um, just make note of this, and perhaps everybody already knows that, that there is already concern um, from surrounding residents for South Woodstock about what the roof is going to look like, that it has nothing that's reflective, nothing that would interfere with a neighbor. So just wanted everyone to be mindful of that because we we have had a few calls on that already. Yeah. I don't think we're talking about at the South Woodstock no. plant. So far we're just talking about at the main treatment plant across from the okay. Sorry about that. Okay. No, no, and there there have been uh, we know about the concerns about South Woodstock though. Okay. <laughs> um my only request in the future is if you could give us any handouts ahead of the meeting that not only helps us, but it also helps everybody who's participating by Zoom who now doesn't have access to this form. Right. Yeah, thank you. But um, this certainly seems like something that we'll be able to talk about. Um, again, what were you, do you have a timeline in mind for, for moving this project forward? Not a set timeline. I think we've been waiting to hear from you folks, but Sunwealth is kind of ready to move ahead with talking with some contractors and getting some real numbers. So if we have the go ahead, we can kind of get started on figuring that out. Do you have anything else, Michael? No, I think that's right. I mean, a go ahead to bring numbers is different than a go ahead to to commit to the project. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yeah, not we're I'm not philosophically <laughs> opposed to this, um, but we've but there seems to be some couple moving parts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're actually basically asking for a go ahead to come up with a, a detailed proposal to bring back to you. Do you want? I don't think we need a mo motion, but um, I think everyone's in agreement. It's okay to bring us some numbers and a proposal. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. It's it's not going to hurt. Yeah. Can I ask okay. one one question? Can you find out if there'll be any impact to um, the, the construction will have any impact to the services provided by that building? You know, so while the PMS building have the lights, the sole put on, would that impact any of the call time response from the station or anything? Um, I'm ha I was having trouble hearing you, Eric. Uh, yeah. Is, is it sorry. possible to, to, to see if the possible installation of the solar panels would have any impact on the functionality of the building as it's happening. Okay. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I could hear him that time. The, it, asking if the installation of the panels would have impact on the functionality of the EMS building was what I heard. Um, it's a great yeah. point. And we'll basically we'll have to check in with the installer once SunWealth kind of chooses one and we choose one. So thanks yeah. for being I'm sorry, go ahead, Jenny. No, just thanks for making that point. Yeah. When we were work, um, working with um, David Green and Robbie Blish and others, and the architect on the EMS building, the uh, the new portion is engineered to accommodate solar panels. So that was at the time actually part of the whole plan. So it it shouldn't in any way impact the functioning of the building in terms of insulation or, or load bearing or anything like that, because it was actually designed that roof specifically for this purpose as well. But That's, we can- Yeah, yeah I just know a little more like if, there's, if they're there putting it on the roof and there's a call for a fire state, a fire truck or a police vehicle that it, they wouldn't be impacted trying to get in or out. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. thank you. Could I also suggest that we get a, um, plans for the uh, main uh, sewer plant to the engineer just so that they can look at those while they're designing? Very good. Get ready Very to replace, the, ready to upgrade that area. Sure. You yeah, mean plan, You mean solar plans to potential yeah. solar? Okay. Yeah. Please. Because we um, we definitely 
um, have solar intent yeah. for the main plant when it what? when it's here. So um, we have to. And if it's viable to do ahead, yes, you know that's fine. But we just want to make sure everything's uh, yes. considered by the various engineers and architects, both from yeah solar and from just the builder. Yeah, it would be that would absolutely, and it would be helpful to if we could possibly get the contacts for um, the engineers and architects who might be working on. Yeah, the, the, yeah I, I can send them to you uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so for other business, um, real quick, we can discuss town meeting organization. So um, what are we the hardest questions? We'll get those to Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> <Told her. laughs> um, do we want to organize it by article or by budget department? Like, Departmental, like in a budget item, you know, ambulance, fire, highway, that sort of thing. Or yeah. my recollection was that in the past it was kind of like line by line and a, yeah. and a little overkill, and that in at least the last couple of years, and I this is going to be my first town meeting being on the board. It was more, you know, we're at this section. Any questions? And mm -hmm. you know, That's kept a little bit. Yes, more. So that's friendly. how I would prefer to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I suggest something coming from the Finance Committee that helped us understand it all? Sure. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. Jo. So there are some very basic uh, increases that it, it feels like that affect every department. And it feels like it might be worth talking about those first. So that would be the help, things like the healthcare increase the union negotiated salaries, um, the assumptions you've made for fuel increased costs, things that, uh, so, so you don't need to say those again and again, you just say them once at the beginning. And then if people understand that healthcare costs are so huge, then no department increases are going to look very big. So I, and did last last year did Bill do much of this? I mean, again, I was just in the audience. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He did. I know I said about zero words. So. <laughs> yeah. No, well, I think Bill did all the talking last year, if I remember correctly. And it was not um a real town meeting no, yeah. and that's two or three years we have had not a real yeah, town just the meeting information and center. just information and that um and this year we will have voting from the floor for the yeah. first 10 articles um those i talked to charlie this morning those are just the the ones that have always been that way Yes, and there's um the the um and it'll be Matt. Yeah, Matt. Matt will and, be uh, moderate. And the um the uh um we have the ballot question for um the um the listers mm -hmm. that's going to be a, that's a, a, a ballot. That's Australian, right? No, no, that's going to be. Um, what number is that? Is that seven? Yes. Yep. So that'll that, be from the floor. That's going to. It's um. Um, a ballot question. There's. Wait, the, hold on. Um. They're they're no. going. To, what? No, if the um, the listers will be on Australian ballot. Yes, but um. That, right. you know, that, I was looking uh, at the wrong. Well, let me hold see. on. No, I was looking let at the school board. Hold on. Oh. Article three. Yeah, it is article three. Uh, so it will be. There, on were, the there will be. No? Um, there will be a ballot. Um, we should talk about that too that. ahead of time. I wasn't aware we were doing that. 
on Saturday rather than it on the balance. And that um, oh, word. that is something we're going to want to really explain. Yeah. I don't know who's the best. I, I, you. I did an interview with Tess Hunter, so I gave her a little bit of information. Great. Um, and spoke in favor of it. So we'll put you in charge of that one. On All right. Saturday? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. And then um, everyone else can do everything else. <laughs> what, Eric? I, I, I'm happy to speak for that as well. Uh, yeah. um, where are they? Yes. Where? I, I just had them and now I can't find yes, them again. Yeah, they're right. Page 16. Page 16. Oh. Okay. The articles, you mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have that. Um, uh, article three on page 16. Pardon me? Yeah, yeah article, yeah, article three, three on page 16. I just wrote Joe's name. One six. I mean, I think, it, it, I, I guess I think when we get to explaining the budget it would i think maybe following what jill said and and eric if you're comfortable kind of highlighting i don't know you know if that's asking a lot with 30 days on the job but <laughs> no I, I think it's good i think i can definitely give a kind of an overview of some of the um normal increases like like jill said health care uh, salaries utilities and kind of just give a sense of this happens every year based on union contracts, you know, based on what's going on, health insurance mm -hmm. costs are always going up um, and kind of give a reason why those nominal increases are there. And it's not anything that we have to dive deep into because it happens every year. So before Matt starts calling out each individual article and taking questions, I can, I'll jump ahead, discuss or, you know, describe article three. And then he can move on. And when we come to Article Three, then we've already talked about it. Or should I talk about it right before, like Where, after I Matt, right, and right when Matt introduces it, and before he? Yeah, I, yeah I, I think that makes more sense instead of jumping around, Joe. Okay, so have Matt. We'll have him read it. Um, I'll have him call on me first. You'll know ahead of time. And, and I'll have all of a script in front of me, yeah. you know, so that I prepared. And Joe, I could also do kind of a, an overview of the entire thing okay. and have a few highlights beyond the expenses and the list is being one of them and kind of give a brief summary of four or five things. And then yeah. when question three comes up, you can stand up and give me more for me, you know, so. Okay, um, start with the budget because that's not going to be, yeah. that, that's not voted on. Right, that's right. voted on. Right, that's not going to be on the floor. That's going to be. Right, that's the other and, and, Yeah, right. Um, Right. And then we all, we always have um, Matt will just go through the special articles and see if anyone oh. from those nonprofits are, are there to talk. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We always do that. And then we have two and select board candidates running for reelection that should be introduced. Yeah. And, um, the, the ballot, um, the trustees that's going to be um, ballot question that um, paper ballot we're going to have a paper ballot so um, so actually articles for the I'm going to jump in for a second okay article six is the town budget oh okay yes right so okay. that is actually going to be on the floor the paper ballot was um, article three for the listers yeah isn't that only if it's requested yeah if it's if it's if the nays and yeas are close okay we'll hand out yeah. paper ballots to everyone yeah and count them take an, in, an intermission and count yes. them yes hopefully it's hopefully it's not close hopefully it's not close uh, according to charlie when i talked to him it had to be paper ballot yes that has to be right. paper ballot yes yes for Number three, yes, for number three, because it's uh, just some statute, but he is aware of it and he will, he is yeah. going to handle it. That's what he, okay. Yes. What um, justice of the peace, the gang will have to. 
17 PS Max. He said that he was going to um, probably um, a ballot that says yes and no. Mm. And uh, Yeah. It was the reason we put it early in the warning so that right. you could do it and then have time to deal with it, you know, while you're still discussing other articles. Okay. Yeah, because um, when we have to go to count it, yeah. there's... Okay. Time, okay. Will that be the justice of the peace that count that? Yes, yes, but I, um, I will not... Yeah. The justice of the peace because I put because it'll be on the, the table. Board. Yep. Okay. Great. And the only reason for the budget to be paper is if it's close on the floor. Great. Yep. Right. Okay. And what about people that want to? Are we just taking votes by the people in the audience? Or are we going to take the votes by people on Zoom? I don't think we can no. take votes by no. people on Zoom because yeah. because no. of the paper ballot provision. Um, and we we did announce that the Zoom would be for um, in for an observation um, only, only. Yeah. And okay. Then, an observation. I don't think we even took questions last year from Zoom. No, I don't recall. No, but, Ernie but, spoke for you know when the was running, the, um, people running, but that was it. I think. Mm. I think you have to come in person. Yeah. If, if I think logistically, since this is. Town meeting at the information center. Yes, that's that right. Se session. Um, so Mary, I'm looking, and there's only seven potential JPs because Matt will be on the stage, and you'll be on the stage. And the stage. So um, there's another JP. Um, this that is not not on here. Yes. Eleven. Um, yes. So we'll just need somebody. will need to make sure there's at least a few people. Yes. It's normally. Twelve. Yeah. There's twelve so JP. Seven for forum. There's only seven listed here. There weren't. There were only like no. six on the ballot. Oh, okay. Last time round. <laughs> but as yeah, long as there's. But we did. We did have ju uh, justices of the peace. No, numbering twelve. Oh, okay. People got appointed. Yes. Yeah. Um. They were. Um. um Paper um, write in ballots. Okay. And this um, there's the um, hospice was. Um, not got what doesn't have enough signatures, mm -hmm. right? And um, I, I hope that they didn't. Um, there's a little bit of people um, wanting to um, say that they want to um, get the money. And I, yeah, that so there were two agencies yeah. that didn't get enough signatures. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, wise, yeah. Wise, 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 but wise nice. didn't do anything. No, yeah. they did. I signed their petition. Yeah, they, they signed. They didn't have enough signatures. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't submit it. But um, the um, uh, the healthcare, the yeah. um, hospice, they had a, like. They had a thirds, two thirds. Yes, yeah, they would like to money. No, I don't think I there's don't a think, way to. Get I don't think there's a way. That, yeah, and that's really too bad. Yeah, they're, they're certainly so allowed to be called on. Yes, um, I don't think that you I, know I've, will be able to change. Well, anybody who said that that it 
they could be called on. And I said, well, that's, that's, that's not good. And Matt that's will be moderating. And yes. So it's, it's too bad they didn't get the signatures, but we, we did, we did yes, put we did. that out at the beginning. Yes. That we. A lot of other organizations did. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm. Yes. Um, but I'm comfortable with this. If anyone has any something that they think of, we can fine tune this. Uh, we quick go into executive session. It'll be one school board. Yeah. BSA 313. I move. Oh, I need to get the um, the citation real quick. Okay. Um, one sub, oh, no, hold on. A3 for the uh, appointment or employment and evaluation of employee or um, public body. For the public body. Yeah. We move to. Um, you want to make a motion? Make a motion okay. to. Um, the, the executive session. Is there a second? Second. I'll second. All right, Susan, all in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> um, Nikki, can you make us a breakout room? You might just sit and yeah. join the hearing. John Dalton's thing. I don't know there. I can't talk about it. Okay. I'm not. So I would entertain a motion. I move that we appoint Marion Ralph to the school board. Yeah. Is there a second? A second. Motion by Susan, second by Mary to appoint Marion Ralph to the school board. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. no. Uh, motion carries four to zero with one absent. Um, we'll notify her. Uh, in due course. Yes. And Mary had brought it's, up. Nikki um, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Mary's brought up um, John. It was was it plaque or no? Uh, the painting. Oh, the painting. The painting. The plaque is right there. Yeah. And the painting that. Um. Last year, John Dalton, a thirty-year select person um, uh, 
he um, resigned for reasons of he's 92 and um, he had um, a painting for him. Okay. And we, um, about a, a month ago, um, David Green said was the painting, and I didn't know that he did got the get the painting. Okay. And we have to do something with him for that. Okay. Um, did, do you know John Dalton? He came in to talk to me uh, oh, one day. Yes, okay. I met him. Yes. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you never forget that intervention. <laughs> Do we know who who actually contacted to hire the commission or the painting? Like who who hired like who individually hired it? Was it you? No, um, Adrian. Yeah, oh, Adrian's hand did it. Tan. Okay. Yes. Um. Um. There. Um. A, um. David Green said yes. That let's go to him because. Okay. So we just need to check with Adrian to see timeline, or is it done? Do you know? Done. Oh, oh well, I think that um, uh, David seen has seen Adrian, and he's gonna get it from him. Okay. And then um, yes. once he does that, we'll 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 set up a, a yes. presentation time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Ray, you're on mute if you're Ray, trying to speak. Ray, are you? Ray, you speaking? You speaking? But we see in here. Something. Yeah, um, I'm just curious. Is it framed, or do we have to get it framed? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out because we, we definitely want to give it to him frame. So yes. we yes. might want to check on that. All right. Very good. Yeah. Um. That just leaves the um, the minutes from the first. February 7th. Mm -hmm. I would move we approve the meeting at minute February 7th. Yes. yes. There's a second. Second by Mary. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Carries. Um, motion to adjourn. I'll Thank make you. a motion to adjourn. Okay. Motion by Ray. Second. Second by Susan. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.